This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 1270 of Horse Tip Daily, your almost everyday morsel of helpful hints, useful facts, and practical techniques for horse folks. Brought to you today by Kentucky Performance Products. Greetings, horse people. Coach Jen here, and thanks for tuning in to Horse Tip Daily. Today, I have a handful of feed room tips to help you stay organized and reduce waste. And we'll get right to our tip after this from Kentucky Performance Products. Vitamin E is a powerful antioxidant that supports healthy muscle and nerve function by limiting cellular damage. Green grass is the best source of vitamin E for horses, but most horses don't spend enough time grazing to meet their needs. Hay, grain, and winter pasture provide little to no natural vitamin E. To ensure your horse's vitamin E requirements are met, choose Elevate. Elevate contains a readily available source of natural vitamin E. Elevate is cost-effective and easy to feed. To learn more about Elevate, visit the Kentucky Performance Products website at kppusa.com. Alrighty, Jen's feed room hacks. Here we go. You have everybody's got to have a feed scoop, but unfortunately, not all horses get the same amount. So you can't just give one scoop to each horse. And one guy's half a scoop is another guy's third of a scoop. So what I do is take my feed scoop and I measure out exactly the amount, third, half, whatever I need, and I drill a small hole in the side of the scoop to mark that spot, because ink and paint eventually wear off. If you need more than one, you can put uh, one hole for half a scoop, uh, two-thirds of a scoop, or three-quarters of a scoop, put two holes on the side. It works fabulously. And in the same fashion, what about those little feed pails that you carry the grain to the stalls with? You're always getting mixed up. Which bucket was Fred's and which buckets was Thunder's? And then Thunder gets the wrong food, and then Fred doesn't get his supplements. It's a hot mess. So I got this idea from Jamie on the Horses in the Morning Show. She color coordinates the pails. The, pa- the feed pail that you carry the feed the f- stall with is the same color as the feed bucket inside the stall. Woohoo! If you can't manage that, at least take some duct tape or masking tape and write in giant letters the stall number or the horse's name on the outside of the pail so that the horse gets the right chow. Next one up, how about feed buckets in their stalls and in their paddocks? One of the, my pet peeves is people hang them too high. We were Many of us were taught back in the day that the bucket had to be at least shoulder height. Well, the problem with that is for many horses, it can lead to uh, TMJ issues or issues in the pole. I like to hang them a little bit lower than that so that the horse does not have to flex his pole and his face is not on the vertical while he's eating. If I have a bucket bully or a horse that wants to play with his buckets a lot, I will use those soft rubber ones. And even better yet, I will use the soft rubber one with no metal parts on it, and it can just go right on the floor. So that's what I do with the feed buckets in their stalls or paddocks. What about feed bins? Everybody's got a giant bin that you pour those sacks of grain into in the, in the feed room. One of the things I like to check on is clean them out. Rotate your stock. Each time you use up the grain, empty out the container and clean it thoroughly. Allow it to dry before you add more in. And another thing I like to do is mark the bin. Take the name of the feed, cut it off the bag, attach permanently to the bin, or even better, pull the tag off that has the information about when it was manufactured and the ingredients that's sewn into the bottom seam. Take that off and attach it to the to the feed barrel. It's easy to do with a Ziploc baggie. That also contains the lot number of the feed, which can be very handy in the event of a recall Or if you have a horse with an issue that you think could be caused by the feed he's eating, you have the lot number right there, and that's essential when you're tracking feed ingredients. And finally, keep the feed room, and the entire barn for that matter, clean of dropped feed. Dropped feed around feed barrels, around feed buckets in stalls, is a place where rodents love to eat, and we don't need more rodents in our barn. So, there you go. A pile of tips for your feed room. Well, there you have it. You can find lots more tips at horsetipdaily.com. Make sure to have all of your favorite Horse Radio Network shows with you wherever you go. By downloading the free app for your iPhone or Android, just go to your app store and search Horse Radio Network. 
or you can subscribe via iTunes. And thanks again to our sponsor, Kentucky Performance Products. This is Coach Jen, and I'll be back again soon with another tip. So until then, go ride your horse. The Horse Radio Network and the Horse Radio Network hosts are not responsible for statements made by guests on the Horse Tip Daily. Please use your own judgment when listening to the tips on this show. <laughs>